Hellman. And I'm Melvin. And this is Movie Talk. Today we're going to do our top 10 movies of 2010. My number 10 movie from last year was Machete with Danny Trejo. Uh, my number 10 is Iron Man. Um, what did you like about Iron Man 2? I thought the visual effects and whatnot okay. were pretty cool. I thought it was really funny. The dialogue was really fast. I don't think it was very funny. I, I, don't don't think it I really liked the dialogue. But Machete I thought was really good action and that was funny too. So my number 9 movie is The Expendables. That was a horrible movie. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. It was awesome. I don't think you're really into guys' movies anymore. Well, are based in estrogen type you're, chick flicks. Well, you're really into guys. I mean, <laughs> no, that's, that's cool. I understand. That's what you like. I but it. you like the ones it's where fine. the girl falls in love with the guy. I do. <laughs> what? And goes and goes shopping. And you know, like pretty woman stuff like that. Right. Dirty like, dancing. That's your type of movie. Good story. I like action Crown movies pants. where things get blown up and you know guys. I'd like to blow you up. Fight right now. and shoot each other. I'd like to do all those things okay. to you. Okay. So, uh, that was your number nine movie? That was your number nine. My number nine movie was Inception. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How do you feel about that? You gave Inception two and a half and you gave Iron Man two four stars. Why are you recounting everything you're, you're I You're changing gave? your view? Things okay. change within time. I know time. you're changing your view. Okay. It's a great movie to get high to. I think it's going to go down in history as a classic getting stoned movie and I'm watching it. Number eight is True Grit, the western with Jeff Bridges. Coen Brothers directed it, wrote it. <coughs> What's your number eight? Did that come out last year? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Spot nominated. We just uh, my number Oscars. eight was Machete. Machete? <laughs> okay. It's number ten on mine. So we're what did close you like on that about, level. What did you like about it? Uh, the violence. Yeah. There was a lot of gore in that movie. Mm -hmm. It was a classic 70s style yeah. exploitation action. You have movie. a lot of knives and whatnot. I don't. Your girlfriend does. I know. She did sleeps. you tell him I know she sleeps with a knife under her pillow? Isn't that kind of freaky? Well, I have a baseball bat. That's my, <laughs> That's what I would use if someone broke in. Really? Mm -hmm. You chase him down I the street? I keep it behind the bedroom door and just in case. There's always like pans. You can pick up a pan. And just these fists are really powerful. Number seven, um, mine was The Town. The Ben Affleck crime caper. Seriously? Film. Yeah. Uh, mine was um, Kick-Ass. Hmm. How do you feel no, about that? No. It's interesting. <laughs> My number six film is Iron Man 2. And what is your number six? <sighs> Night and Day. The Tom Cruise, Cameron Diaz mm -hmm. you know, action movie. That was pretty funny. I liked it. I didn't think it was going to be good my... going into it because it was Tom Cruise. Mm -hmm. But uh, he was actually entertaining. Yeah, he was and There funny. was a lot of action. Erica didn't want to see it because it was Tom Cruise. She said she couldn't give him a good review because he was a Scientologist. Let me, let me <laughs> think. <laughs> uh, so Rem you don't remember when he used to, used to date a Scientologist? Who? Cosette. Oh, that's right! <laughs> I did date a Scientologist. What was that like for you? <laughs> that experience? Remember, she was pretty um, religious, conservative, kind of. She didn't was. Like, she didn't like you doing any drugs or drinking a lot or anything. I have she never partaking in any what? of those activities. What? I don't know what you're talking about. My number five film is um, Let Me In. It's a vampire film with um, the girl from Kick-Ass, actually, Chloe Moritz. It's a vampire romance. No one out there knows the names of these yes. people you, you're bringing up. No, some people do. What's your number five? She's out of my league. Mm. That was my number 11. I really liked it. Though. We didn't go to 11. I know. I'm just saying it was my number 11. It was the next one out of the top 10. Well, you can't do that. No one cares. My number four is Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. The Michael Sarah superhero movie. What is your number four? Uh, Splice. And why did you like that movie? <laughs> because it was one of the strangest movies I've ever seen. Do you have it on um, your list? Would you sleep with a clone? A clone? Like if someone were, to, someone were to clone you? Or like a half clone, half creature thing like that. <laughs> would you have sex with it? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think yeah. I could. It'd be a little weird. My number three is Kick-Ass. She's out of my league. 
<laughs> I already did that. Did I do that, that twice? Five. What? Right, get out of now here. Now the social network. Are we doing two or three? Three. Then I got she's out of my league. Uh, what? You put it for three and five? Yeah, I liked it that much. <laughs> you can't do what? You can do whatever you want. This is a top ten. Uh, do you have something else to put in there? <laughs> um. How about the A team? You liked it. Um, At one point you said it was your favorite movie of the summer. Really? Yeah. The A team. <laughs> the A team is not Okay, the A-Team, that was a good action movie. That yeah, was, it was a good action that movie. That was a close call for me. Yeah. Um, All right. So my number two is Inception. <laughs> Remember back in the days when I used to hang out with Leonardo DiCaprio? He was in town for a uh, forest burning... You know, uh, to uh, burn forest? A thing against forest burning uh -huh. in Oregon. So I met him at the... What was it? The Crowbar. We just became good friends. We hit it off immediately. Really? Yeah. Wow. Did you guys get He introduced wasted? me to Natalie Portman and um, <laughs> Naomi Watts. Flew me to L.A. one night. Wow. In Hollywood. You have become quite a star. Yeah. Due to him. Uh-huh. Hmm. But then one day, Eric, I hadn't heard from him in a while, and Eric saw him on a basketball game, and there was another guy that wasn't me sitting next to him texting. So he, he realized I had been replaced. <laughs> 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 That's sad. So Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> broke up with you? Is well, what you're he got to a say? new friend. That so you were replaced. And the friend was apparently, you know, texting his friends about how he was at the basketball game with Leonardo DiCaprio. Like, uh, I used to text everyone. So you're was, an ex-friend of Leonardo, 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 Leonardo DiCaprio. DiCaprio. Do you sometimes miss him? Oh, yeah. Mine was The Social Network. Hmm, that's a good one. <laughs> that was your number one. I know it was. Okay, you gave it away. I liked how that the twins got ripped off and how mm -hmm. they were depicted as a couple of little whiny babies. I don't know if they're depicted as a couple of whiny babies. Uh, it seems like it. I thought they were well, depicted kind of nice. I mean, they're kind of likable. They're just, you know, used to getting what they wanted, so they're kind of spoiled. But <laughs> Would you say you're a lot like that? No. <laughs> I don't have money. I don't have everything had to me in life <laughs> like they do. <laughs> Have you ever had anything handed to you? Hmm. At all? Yeah. What? I mean, like a hand job. <laughs> <laughs> well, those. anything at all. I've had for those free. handed to me. Um, yeah. Not because of your fame, fortune, or riches. That yeah, might have been because of that. But. Mm -hmm. You think one day you're going to be up to that status where people oh, are yeah. just going to bow beneath you? People your... just want to do me because I'm famous. Yeah. Oh, well, good luck that's, with that. I hope it all comes coming true. Soon. Erica said that um, I had a lot of similar um, similarities to the Jeff Eisenberg character in Social Network. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't think so. For one, I'm not um, a genius. <laughs> For another, I'm not nearly as rude and like a smartass like he is. You know, pretty, yeah, you need to step it up on that. Pretty smartassy. Yeah. That's You're a kiss ass. It's kind of a defense mechanism of his. Yeah, but you kind of do whatever anyone says. Mm -hmm. And I'm, not, <laughs> I'm definitely not as rude as him. Yeah. Well, you mean a girl? I'd do anything to so. Any girl? No. Not any girl, but ninety-eight. An eight or above. What's your number one movie? Piranha. Oh <laughs> yeah. <Piranha. laughs> and why? Why do you say that? The main reason I like Piranha is because in one scene, uh, a piranha jumped out of the water and bit off a guy's wiener. That was the, that's why it's your favorite movie of the year. <laughs> do I need more? Why do you want to see penis mutilation? <laughs> Did any time a fish jumps out of the water and bites off a guy's... I mean, that's funny. Yeah, but... You could take that to the bank. That's worth the best movie of the year. Yeah, it is. Because some guy got his penis ripped off. Okay. Tune in next time.